overall i would say the ergonomics of the motorcycle the way the handlebar has been placed the foot pegs and the riding seat the comfort of the rider it is uh, for cruising at long distances my estimate would be between 300 to 400 kilometers is easy it's going to be a very relaxing ride weight is something which does not really stand out in the sense that despite being heavy you don't feel the weight while riding in a blink of an eye you can swerve and adjust your line correct your line even uh, on twisties when you're you know really pushing the bike hard and you're pushing yourself hard you want to have a knee down you can do it and the stability and control that you have over the motorcycle is incredible in terms of straight line this thing can go fast if you want it to go fast it can amble around at 120 if you wanted to and overtaking is a breeze in corners in twisties the kind of control that you get is just incredible the braking performance of this motorcycle has surpassed my expectation the moment it performs it doesn't get its tail out and it's in that line that you've put it and it stops and you're not in a sticky situation that's when you're really confident and happy it's attractive it's not really, I would say, out there in your face, but at the same time, it can definitely make an impression. It has on-road presence. If you talk about the accessories and the kit that has been added, you know, the slipper clutch you spoke about, so negating the effects of deceleration while downshifting, the engine braking, and ABS along with the disc brakes, and the, you know, way it's been, um, the engine has been tuned to put out 35 PS and 35 Newton meters. It's a complete package and that in a price point of say 1.5 lakh, this is probably the best bet right now in this segment and I would stand by my work.